In this video lesson, we're going to learn how to perform the Gram stain, the most widely used stain in bacteriology. And of course, the Gram stain allows us to determine whether the bacterium is Gram positive or Gram negative. And it's really a four step staining procedure rather than a stain. So we have an air dried smear of bacteria that we've prepared according to the instructions we learned in a previous video lesson and we're ready to start doing the gram stain. So the first step in the gram stain is to stain the bacteria with a basic dye crystal violet. We open up the bottle and we add enough crystal violet to cover a good part of the smear. And we let that sit for one minute. A minute has gone by, we're ready to wash off the excess crystal violet with deionized water. So we pick up the slide by the label, hold it over the staining tray. We direct the water at the top of the smear and let it run down over the slide while watching the bottom. And as soon as the purple starts flowing off, then we want to shake off the excess dye. Put the slide back on our staining tray. We don't blot dry between steps. We simply go on to the next step. Step is to treat the bacteria with Gram's iodine. The Gram's iodine combines with the crystal violet inside the bacteria to form a water insoluble crystal violet iodine co complex. And it helps the bacteria retain the crystal violet better. So we add enough iodine to cover most of the smear as we did with the crystal violet. And we're going to let that sit for one minute. But one minute has gone by. We're ready to wash off the excess iodine using our deionized water. So again, we direct the water above the smear, let it run down over the smear, watching the bottom of the slide. And when the excess iodine has come off, we shake off the excess water and we're ready to move on to the next step, the decolorization. The decolorization step is our next step, and this is the most critical step during the gram stain. You have to do this very carefully because you can over decolorize or under decolorize. Now what we're going to do when we decolorize, we're going to use Gram's decolorizer, a mixture of ethyl alcohol and acetone. And what we're going to do in a minute is direct the decolorizer down over the slide while going back and forth with the decolorizer bottle and letting it run down over the entire smear. But as we do this, we're going to be watching the bottom of the slide, not the smear, but the bottom, watching the purple come off from the crystal violet iodine complex. And as soon as the decolorizer coming off the bottom of the slide starts looking relatively clearer, then we immediately stop decolorizing and wash off the decolorizer with water. So when we're ready to decolorize, we're going to watch the bottom of the slide. So we're pushing, putting it back and forth. We see the purple coming off the bottom. Purple still coming off. Purple still coming off. Now it looks clear. So we're going to take our wash bottle and wash off the decolorizer. Shake off the excess water, put the slide back on the staining tray, and we're ready for our final step. In the final step of the Gram stain, we're going to add the counter stain Safranin. It's a basic dye like crystal violet, but it's pink rather than purple. So we add enough Safranin to cover most of the smear, and we're going to let that sit for one minute. Now that one minute's gone by, we're ready to wash off the excess safranin from our slide. So we pick the slide up, direct the water above the smear, watch the bottom of the slide for the red safranin coming off. And when that looks relatively clear, shake off the excess water. And at that point, we're ready to blot the slide. So we take our book of bibulous paper and we put the slide in the book. We gently rub it. Again, don't push too hard or you could break the slide. We move the slide around several times while gently rubbing the slide. 
And at that point, the slide is dry. We're ready to put on our immersion oil and observe under a thousand magnification.